welcome to Winning Ahead. This is the first episode. My name is Femi Ola Dosu, and I will be taking you through the journey of Winning Ahead in every area of life. This program is promising excellence. Today, I'm going to be talking about the pioneers. What do they mind? What is their mind? What is their perspective of life? If we want to know the way they mind, then we need to know who they are. Who are the pioneers? Then I say, pioneers are a set of people that has positive mindset towards producing solutions to every difficulties, every challenges, or every problem of life. Irrespective of the field they are, irrespective of where they find themselves, irrespective of where they belong, they are the kind of people that find solution or sees possibility in every difficulties, in every situations, in every circumstances, or in every problems they might be facing or their group might be facing. And that's the reason why you see pioneers being different and being distinguished amidst every other personalities. If you look at a particular group, a particular place, or a particular gathering, you will see that there are some people that are significant, there are some people that those groups cannot do without. What makes them indispensable? What makes them inevitable? What makes them to be more special amidst their group? What do they mind? And that is the reason I want to be taking you through the journey of what pioneers mind. I'm going to be talking about 10 things that pioneer minds. This is going to be two. 5 plus 5 making sense. I believe you are going to take your jotter, you are going to take your pen as you are going to learn through winning ahead. This is where you get a reward for your persistence and consistency. Winning ahead, it is for you, it is for everybody. The first thing is that founder believe in starting small. They have growth mind. Their mind is positioned in such a way that when they start small, they fix things together and they begin to grow. They believe that a journey of a thousand miles begins with a step. Pioneer believes in winning with little. They want to start small. They want to be accurate. Their mind is positioned in starting small so they can become big. For you to be able to have a very huge capacity, you need to start with your very small capacity. So many people make the mistake in starting a business. They want to start very big. They want to start very elaborate. Whereas they don't have the capacity or the ability. They don't have the knowledge. They don't have the skills. They don't have the materials. They don't have so many things that is considered to, to start big. But they want to start big. They want to start wide. On the pioneer's case, it is different. They believe in starting with little. Pioneer believes in the system of talent that was spoken by the Lord Jesus Christ. They believe that if you have two talents, want to sow with that two talents, you work with the two talents, you can have two more, you grow. They believe that little by little, you will win the race. One stroke after the other, swimming the ocean, you get to the bank. Every journey of a thousand miles begins with a step. They believe that a seed can make a tree, and that big tree can become a forest. And that's how pioneers become great persons they become that you might be saying today. Pioneers ask growth mind, that is, they believe in starting small and winning big. Number two, pioneers maximize opportunities. They don't just maximize opportunities, they maximize opportunities that is literally meant for them. There is a belief in the system, in the heart of every pioneer, that it is not every opportunity that comes your way that is meant for you. So they maximize opportunities that is meant for them, literally for their purpose, literally, literally for their future. In any case, let's study the life of Joseph in the scriptures, how he had the opportunity when he was this head of slave in the Potiphar's house. He had the opportunity to be sleeping with his master's wife. But Joseph proposed in his mind that this is an opportunity but it's not meant for me. This kind of opportunity can hinder my progress in life. This kind of opportunity can hinder me from fulfilling the dream that I've dreamed about. There is no opportunity that is bigger than that to him at that particular time. But Joseph proposed and he knew that this opportunity was not meant for him. And that's the reason why we need to understand, to study every opportunity that comes our way. Every single opportunity that comes to man's way in life might look beautiful but might not be the exact opportunity that a man needs in the journey of existence. Always note this, that there are some opportunities that can destroy one's life, there are some opportunities that can stop you from achieving what you want, what you want to become in life. There are, some, there are some opportunities that can stop you from fulfilling the purpose of God. They might look sweet, they might look pleasant, they might look pleasing, but these opportunities might not be meant for you. 
Some people that want to become great in life need to mind their way of maximizing opportunities. There are some opportunities that you need to close your eyes away from and let them go because they can destroy and mar your destiny. Check through before you take any opportunity, before you use any chance in life. Check through if it's going to affect your future, if it's going to destroy you, or it's going to make the best out of you. So this is the second thing that pioneers minds. The minds, every opportunity that comes their way, the maximize opportunities that is literally meant for them. Number three. They believe in challenges they believe that every challenge in life is preparing them for the best of whom they want to become they believe that you cannot be promoted without being tested so everything that comes to their mind whenever they face challenge is that this challenge is meant for them to face it to pass it like they are preparing for exam or test for their promotion they believe that every challenge that comes their way is preparing them to another level another step in life. Pioneers are not people that face challenges and run away from it. They are people that face challenges of life, they, they combat their challenge, they face their challenge and until they overcome their challenges of life, they are not relenting. Once they overcome the challenge, it's a stepping stone to higher ground. Pioneers believe so much in facing challenges. They believe ch that challenges is part of life. Challenges are part of a preparation for higher ground. Challenges are there to take them to the next level of life. They don't run away from challenges. They believe that challenges is the best thing that can make them to become who they really want to become. They don't run away from challenges. They face their challenge eyeball to eyeball. Their problem eyeball to eyeball. They see their problem, they face it, they man their problem, they find solution. Instead of thinking of running away, instead of thinking of dodging it, they sit down to think of possible solutions on how to combat challenges and how to overcome. And immediately they overcome. It's, it's added to their archive. That is pioneer, the mind of pioneers for you. They believe that every challenge that comes to their way is preparing them to be best of their best in life. Pioneers does not see challenges as things that will stop them from achieving their goals. But instead, they see challenges as things that they are going to mount up, to mount on, to achieve whatever they want to achieve in life. So this is the mind of pioneers. This is the number three thing that pioneers minds. They believe in challenges. Number fourth thing is that pioneers are people that don't leverage on problems. They believe in finding solutions to problems instead of fixating problems. You know, many people they try to complain about situations of life, they leverage on that situation and they become useless. They want people to pity them. The next thing they begin to do is to be presenting themselves in such a way that people will be able to be pitying them. They will be seeing how miserable they are, the kind of problem they are facing through, people will be able to be having pity on them. No, pioneers don't do that. Pioneers, instead of packaging the problem, redressing the problem, they, they don't fixate problem. Instead of fixating the problem, they find solution to problem. Pioneers don't leverage on problems. Instead of leveraging on problems, they prepare to sit tight with their problems and find solution instead of leveraging on problems. They create more opportunities. They take risks that will bring them more solutions. They don't just ruminate on a problem as if that problem is the end of their life. No. That problem, they believe that that problem, finding solution to the problem, is going to help them to make progress in life. Every time they wake up like this from their bed, every time they get to the office, every time they get to their place of commitment, what comes to their mind is how to find solutions to the problem of yesterday and how to become better today than that of yesterday. That is the mind of pioneers. They don't dwell on problems. Number five thing is that pioneers have brand minds. They have a brand art. They believe in proper presentation and general acceptability. What they believe in is that the way they present themselves, the way people approach them, they believe that everything that identifies them is their uniqueness. They believe that everything that represents them, everything that identifies with them carries their value. So they place more value on how they present themselves. They place more value on how they appear. They place, they place more value on the things they do, the way they do their things, they mind it. So that if you see what they do, if you see the way they relate, you can 
add, you can partly, you can quickly point to them that this thing, this quality belongs to this kind, particular person. They have a kind of brand art. The same thing the scripture says: whatsoever you find thy hand to do, do it with all thy might. And that is the same way the pioneer mind. They have a brand art. They believe they are not living for themselves alone. They are living for the whole world. They are living for people around them. People around them to benefit from the quality they carry. People in their nation to benefit from the quality they carry. People in the entire universe to benefit from the quality they carry. They believe that they are not living for themselves. They are living for all. So they do everything that will make everybody see quality in what they do or what they or, or anything that comes from them or anything they relate with. So everything that is representing them, everything that is coming from them, everything they got involved with, every people they move with, they make sure that they are presenting good values to people. So Pioneer believes in proper presentation and general acceptability. They believe that everything that identifies them shows their value and they don't want to give anything that is less of good value because they believe that they are living brands and brands carries values carries great honor carries quality the, you can you can you can decode the quality of of anything in any brand if you mention anything relating to them the first thing that comes to your mind is them how do i know okay you want to go to the market you want to buy toothpaste if you mention the toothpaste if anybody mentions toothpaste to your mind there is a kind of particular brand that comes to your mind if you want to buy bread the kind of particular brand that comes to your mind it means those brand that comes to your mind if you want to buy milk there's a kind of first particular meal that comes to your mind if you want to drink maybe beverage there's kind of particular product brand that comes to your mind which means this brand that comes to your mind first carries quality do you understand now if it does not carry quality you will not have it in mind you know this thing is from the scriptures the bible says whatsoever you find thy hand to do do it with all thy mind with all thy heart that is the same thing that pioneers take as their pillar of doing things in life that's the same thing that pioneer takes as their as their maze of acceptability you know they do everything they do with all their might to the extent that they believe that everything that comes out of them every people they relate with every people they, they move with every people every everything everything they get involved in is of their value so they must put their very best into them to be able to present good values to people around this is a mind of pioneers five things we've learned today number one number two number three number four and number five so this is the end of the first episode and next time we are going to be learning another five things on what pioneer minds before then let's keep winning ahead let's keep moving mountains let's keep turning impossibilities into testimonies i love you and you can do nothing about that Mwah.